I got the motor all back together. Uh, did a few extra things, bought a full vacuum line kit. Uh, I think it consisted of about 12 uh, vacuum lines for the entire motor. Uh, while I had it apart, I figured that was the right thing to do. Got it from DeLorean Go, which is a UK based uh, DeLorean outlet. I uh, deleted the quote unquote convoluted intake system. Uh, this is a straight system now. I gotta cut these little uh, you know, uh, hose clamp <laughs> ends off uh, to make it look a little bit better. But basically this elbow right here came out into this weird little guy right here. Um, and it went down, uh, so it came in here and out here into the intake box. And it had this outlet going to what they call the stove on the side of the motor. And what it would do is it would release heat into this module and open this flap inside, depending on the heat that was going through it. And DeLorean just recommends deleting it because it was a emissions uh, fix from back in the 80s that, you know, doesn't apply now because it's a historic car, number one. Um, but it also kind of restricts the motor a bit. So we have a straight, um, it's not really a cold air intake, but it's a more direct intake into the box. Um, so once I got all this back together and I did a pressure test on the coolant system, um, I heard a little pss sound um, and realized that the radiator tank was uh, the side tank was leaking uh, at the core where the tank meets the core. And that's not uncommon for a vehicle this old. Um, it's the original radiator. So DeLorean does sell a replacement all aluminum radiator that I'm putting in. Um, so I have the front fascia removed right now. I'm going to be installing the new radiator this weekend. Uh, by the way, this is about three months since the last video I posted, um, got into some home remodels and the, the car sat apart for a while. But um, I'm hoping to get all that taken care of this weekend and I wanna start getting this thing back on the road. Uh, drive it while I'm building the props for the time machine. Have the new radiator in. Um, filled it all up with coolant and I'm doing a pressure test on it. Uh, the cap says 15 pounds. Um, I'm putting about, let's see, a pound extra, just to be sure, um, and it let it sit for about five to ten minutes and monitor that needle um, and see if it drops. It's gone down, I mean, it may be, a, 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 I mean, barely even noticeable. I had it right on that line, and it looks like it might even, see, it's just a little bit past that line. But that should be, should be fine. Um, nothing crazy. Um, to worry about um, So I do have the new radiator in I did that last weekend Let's see if I can get in here and show you So there's the brand new aluminum tank radiator I got all new fittings um, the rubber fittings in between these coolant lines I just wanted to do those while I was in here um, this pipe right here was a bitch to get back into uh, position. Um, I even couldn't get it cranked out right. So I ended up putting a rubber uh, piece of hose to keep the pipe from rubbing against a bolt on the side of the frame. It, as much as I tried, I just, I just couldn't get it to kick out right. Um, and the original pipe had this wonky angle to it as well. So, I mean, it's, it's just not a perfect fit. Another thing I did was on this bleeder hose, I put a, um, T-fitting air bleeder valve recommended online. Um, this thing has such a large coolant loop that it's susceptible to um, a lot of air bubbles getting stuck in the system. Um, and, and apparently this is recommended. So I got this, uh, I'll leave a link to where you can actually buy this setup. I ended up just going to a local fitting store and putting it together myself, but we'll use that to uh, bleed air out of the system. Um, but there's the radiator put back together. Um, again, I uh, 
I have pressure on it right now. It seems to be holding. Um, <clears throat> the way I filled the coolant back up because of the, uh, the known uh, problems with trying to get air out of the system is I used this vacuum uh, coolant tool, which I'll leave a link to below. Um, go on YouTube and search vacuum cooling system uh, filler. And uh, I did it about four times trying to get coolant into the system. It doesn't do it all the way, but it gets you close. Um, they'll tell you how to do the install. You put the car on ACC, turn your heat all the way on, put it on the lowest fan volume so you can open up the heater core, and then uh, you start filling. Um, so what we're gonna do is pop this off and uh, run the car without the cap on. And the thing is, I haven't had this thing started since I put it back together, so there's gonna be air in the fuel lines. Um, I wanna prime the motor because it's been sitting for three months, so I'm gonna pull the fuse for the fuel system. Um, crank the starter so it can uh, get some oil dripping over top of the uh, the um, you know the, the valves and everything. Put the fuse back in, crank it, get it started, leave the cap off, let it run, so it tries to get air out of the system and, and suck coolant and keep filling up the coolant. I'm gonna use that air bleeder in the front to uh, try to get air out, and uh, we'll see where we're at. Got it. Let me get it out of here before it fills my house up. for a while now. I've been working on the cooling system. I uh, ran it a lot with the, uh, the cap off of the tank so that I could try to get air out of it. Um, I was using the bleeder valve up front as well. Um, once this thing gets up to temperature and the fans stick on the front, I'm going to see if I can do the bleeder valve and see if there's any more air left so I can see. Alright, so I have a tube inside this T and the trick is when you turn the valve on, <clears throat> you see air bubbles coming through with the coolant. You keep it open until you don't see Terribles anymore. Sorry about that. So, we have coolant coming out. I've done this a few times before, so we might not get any air bubbles, but you want to use a clear tube so that you can see any air bubbles that look white coming through with that green coolant. 
wait till the uh, fans kick on.